you can still visit Cuba as a tourist. And it's easy, but you better act soon. Just 10 days ago, a few of my friends and I were looking for a cheap weekend trip. Chicago for $200, Miami for $250, Austin for $300. But wait, what about somewhere totally different and new? What about Cuba? About three years ago, President Obama announced a normalization of relations with Cuba. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. And the most significant changes in our policy in more than 50 years. But that window could close at any time with Trump in charge. Therefore, effective immediately, I am canceling the last administration's completely one-sided deal with Cuba. But for now, it stands. And so just like that, we booked our flights to Havana, Cuba for 340 bucks. Here's what else you need to know if you're gonna book a flight to Cuba. You need to choose from one of 12 options from the State Department why you are going to Cuba. If you're a normal tourist like me, you'll choose to support the Cuban people. However much your flight costs, tack on another $75 to cover the cost of the tourist visa. But don't worry about dealing with that in advance. You'll get it when you check in for your flight at the airport. Last but not least, make sure to bring euros. As an American tourist, our credit cards won't work. And anytime that we exchange American dollars, they take an extra 10% fee. By the way, I'm back from my trip to Cuba already and I had a ridiculous adventure. Let's just say that I did my part to support the Cuban people. Check out the video on Wednesday to hear the full story. Rally on.